Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Buru Energy, ASX code BRU. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chairman of Buru Energy, Eric Streitberg. Hi, Eric. Hi, Matt. Buru Energy is a West Australian-based oil producer with ground holdings in the Canning Basin in the north of WA, where it operates its oil-producing joint venture with Rock Oil at the Angani Oil Field, about 100 kilometres east of Broome. Angani already produces around a thousand barrels of oil a day and Buru is looking to up that number as it has just kicked off its exploration program for 2021 in the Canning Basin, which is probably Australia's largest onshore oil and gas field. Okay, Eric, you're back in the hunt. You're out there in the field. What areas are you targeting now and why? Matt, we are very focused on uh, the conventional oil prospects in the basin. We've defined a couple of big prospects that we're drilling this year that have got the potential, if we find oil in them, of up to 100 million barrels of oil, which is pretty much world scale in the business. So what are you drilling at the moment? Our current well is called Karajong No. 1, and we're at about 700 metres on that, on our way down to 2,300 metres. That's a 28 million barrel target, and we should be there in a couple of weeks, so we are holding our breath and very excited at the prospect. All right, so without getting too technical, what makes you think you might strike oil at Karajong? What are the early indicators that made you drill there? Well, we found the Ungani field, which is, as you mentioned, currently producing, and we've then followed up with a lot of 3D seismic and some very detailed geological interpretation, and Karajong looks very similar to a producing field. So, as they say in the business, acorns fall under the oak tree, so if we can find something that looks geologically similar to what we're already drilling, we should have a crack at it, and that's what we're doing at Karajong. So, who's paying for all this? Have you got the funding to do it properly? We've got a pretty strong balance sheet. We've got about $35 million in the bank, but better than that, we have a joint venture with Origin Energy, and Origin have come into the basin, and they're funding up to about a $40 million package, some of which is conditional, but that covers us pretty well for the drilling for this year. So you're producing oil at the moment at Ungani. Is Peru making money? And if so, how much? Yes, we are, and certainly with the way the oil price is at the moment, it's up around $75, US quite a bit higher than it was during the COVID pandemic obviously but it's looking very strong so we're clearing currently on our current production four to five million a year that pays for all our overheads etc so we're not burning cash except when we go out and drill holes in the ground to try and find oil. Eric Streitberg from Buru Energy thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today and remember we're only here to give you information not advice which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews go to the Money page at 6pr.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.